Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders, a great millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, to the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. This is the real church, all right? Starting with the apostles of great millstone and on down to the brothers that's pushing this truth. This is the real church. The church is not what, you know, these big buildings, these big glorious luxuries buildings that you go in and, and, and you so-called worship the Most High, all right? You worship God and Jesus Christ. That ain't the church. All right, the scriptures say that the Most High dwelleth in temples not made with hands. Okay, so this is the church, and, and I'm going to go into the word, the the um, the word church and its meaning, and, and you're going to see that these false preachers, these pastors, these Christian church, the Catholic church, that's not, they don't got the truth. They don't, con they don't possess the truth. All right, you're going to get the truth from the real church. And that started with the apostles and elders through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Hey, and hey, and I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the definition because the word church means to uh in ecclesia, which literally means to call out when you go to the root word. And uh let me see. I just how here it is, church. Ecclesia. And it is and it reads, uh gathering of citizens called to the their homes in some public place in assembly. All right, and, and that's where we go. That's where um, you prophesy in, in the uh, in the in the chief con in the ch chief place of concourse. All right, uh, citizens called to their home into some public place in assembly. All right, when you go to the root word, it says assembly of people con convene in a public place for a council for the purpose of deliberating. Assembly of Israelites. All right, hey, you really got to be an Israelite to go to church. Okay. And this ain't, this ain't, this ain't the, the, you know, the church tells you, you know, everyone can come. All right. Hey, you, hey, really, everyone can come to this church, but only the Israelites are going to understand it. The only Israelites are going to be, um, have the spirit to understand it. The Holy Spirit, all right, which is the, the, the uh, spirit of understanding, understanding the scriptures, understanding what's coming out in these scriptures. Okay. So when you see brothers, like the apostles, you know, these are brothers from Dallas right here. You see brothers out with these garments on. This is the real church. So you just you just drove by a church. You just scoffed at a church. All right. When you when you you jace out there, you scoff and talk shit. Okay, this is uh I'm gonna go to the root word of Ecclesia. Um it's the, the uh this the first part of it is out of, from, by, away from. Okay, and the uh second part is to call. Um, what's the root word? Kaleo, to call, to call out aloud. As scripture says, um, let me grab this, Isaiah 58. We'll come back to that. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. That's what uh, um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the men of the Lord are doing. We're calling out, all right, crying aloud. All right, and not sparing your feelings, not sparing how you feel about the scriptures. We're bringing, giving you the scriptures straight, all right, straight to the point. All right, we're not sugarcoating anything like these, these Christian pastors, you know, telling you everything's going to be all right. We're telling you shit's about to get, shit's about to hit the fan, all right? And unless you're right with the Heavenly Father, okay, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to go down with this place, all right? You're going to go down in the famine, in the, in the destruction, in the, uh, in the pestilence, all right, in, in the world war, all right, in the civil war. All right, in the race rise, we're telling you, and and the job of a prophet is to to, to prophesy, which means to say before and, and warn the people. So we're giving you a clear warning by calling out. All right, the church is not the, these Christian churches, these Catholic churches are not doing that. They're putting you, trying to put you niggas back to sleep. Okay, at the end of the day, let me um, let me see where do I want to go. Um, oh, Ezekiel three, because this is what a prophet's supposed to do. He's supposed to give you warning. All right, this is um. Ezekiel 3 and, uh, let me see. Um, verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. 
Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Or we're, we're, we're literally the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father and His Son to give you warning. Okay? Hey, the, the, the Christian church ain't telling you, giving you warning. They're telling you some bullshit and, and passing the collection plate around. Or that, and, and the Christian church, the Catholic church, that's all set up. I used to go to a Catholic church, and, and, and what tripped me out was they have the, the, the hymnal book where, you know, they have damn near the whole year, uh, uh, um, you know, mapped out. All right, this Sunday, we're going to read this. This Sunday, we're going to read this. This Sunday, we're going to read this. And, of course, around Easter time, they always read the Passions. All right, so everything is mapped out. Everything is scripted. All right, with this church, hey, the, 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 the church of Yahweh Shema Shah rolls in the spirit, okay? But the, the, the Christian and the Catholic church, they, they all scripted, okay? And that's how they want you people to be. You, they want you people to be, just get, get in line like a goddamn robot, okay? But this ain't scripted, all right? The, the spirit is flowing. When you go to these churches, you're right. You, you, hey, the, the brothers bring out all kind of topics. All right, whatever, whatever is is on the brother's spirit or, or whatever um, a, a, a major current event that's happening, whatever prophetic event that's taking place. Hey, brothers, go into it. Do you see that in the Catholic Church, Christian Church? All right, we just, you know, all, all they talk about is, you know, when shit get bad. Oh, have faith and, and 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 you know, tell you a bunch of bullshit, tell you a bunch of lies, but. You know, they're not telling you about World War Three. They're not telling you about famine and, and pestilence. They ain't telling you the so-called white man's the devil, and he's coming down with great wrath. So the church is not giving you warning. All right, that's what you, you Jake's got to realize. That, oh, you know, with all these things going on, all right, if the, if, the, if, the, if, if the Lord, if the guy is dealing with my pastor or my preacher, why isn't he telling us about these things that are taking place or are about to happen? Because that ain't the church. That's not the real church. Okay, the scriptures say, I'm going to grab it real quick. I'm going to jump back to Ezekiel. Um, no, this is not it. Uh, I just had it. Um, Isaiah 66. I think it's 66. Yeah, 66 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, the, he the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye will build unto me? And there is a place, and where is the place of my rest? You can't, these houses, the Lord, well, I just read, the, the, the Most High dwelleth in um, houses not made with hands, okay? We're, we're building the house. The house of the Lord is his people, okay? And, and that's being built up, mainly the elect. The elect is being built up. That's that house, all right? And Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone of that house, all right? The, 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 the foundation that this house is being built on, okay? So this is the church. All right, you 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 know you come up to a camp, you're in the you're in the church, okay? You, you're you know because at, at the main thing about these churches, the difference between these churches and these camps, all right, the the, the real church, these Christian churches, is you can't ask questions in these Christian churches, the Catholic Church. You can't raise your hand and say, you know, I don't understand this. Break this down to me. With us, when you come out to uh, uh, the, the men of the Lord, you can ask whatever you want as it pertains as it pertains to prophecy, as it pertains to salvation. You just can't come up there asking no stupid shit. But we're going to edify and, and answer your questions as pertain to prophecy, okay? And a lot of times you may like not like the answer, but it ain't about it ain't about whether you like it or not. It's about bringing out the word of the Lord, okay? The scripture said, I just read it in fifty eight uh, Isaiah fifty eight and one, spare not, okay? So back to Ezekiel chapters three and um, seventeen. I read seventeen and go all the way down. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, okay? The house of Israel is his people, therefore. Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked of, from his wicked way, to save his life, and the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So we're telling the wicked, all right, the wicked of our people, to, to repent, all right, turn from your wicked ways, all right, and, and to get the blood of our hands, because we were once wicked in this world and, and, and living a life of sin, okay? But but we turn from that, all right? Uh, we repented from that, okay? That's what repent means, to turn away, okay? So we, we broke, and we know the, the Spirit is on us, and the knowledge and wisdom has been given to, to the men of the Lord to warn our people, all right? But do you see the Christian church doing that? They're not warning the people of their wicked ways. They, they may go into some things, but they're not pinpointing the wickedness of Jake, all right? They're not telling you, Jake, to stop being niggas out there. They're not telling you, Jake, to stop smoking, and, and, and popping your neighbor's wife and covenant after your neighbor's goods, okay? They, they're not calling, hey, Jake, excuse me, we call Jake out on their bullshit, all right, where, where, where they cut when they hear this truth, 
All right, these Christian churches are not doing that because what what would that do? All right, that'll cut into their money. All right, and that's what the main that's what the main goal, the main um, the main motivation for the Christian and the Catholic Church first to deceive, and the secondly to for that money. All right, verse uh, nineteen. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay, so the, hey, you got to warn the people, so we'll be delivered. All right, you know we can get the blood of our hands. All right, and we're telling our people, the wicked of our people, we're telling those that that are on the fence about this truth. You better get right with the Lord. You better, you better, you know, you know, you better not stop. Better stop bullshitting. You better stop being lukewarm and, and turn unto the Lord. We're we're giving the warning to our people. What are the Christian church saying? It's going to be all right. We're going to rebound from this this uh, this pandemic. You know, uh, just put faith in Jesus Christ. And, hey, they, they're not telling you the truth. They never, they, the Christian church has never told you the truth. That's like the apostles calls it plantation Christianity. That's what all that goes back to. All right, deceiving the people. All right, getting the people's minds. And, and, and next, getting in their pockets. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit, and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall be shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. All right, so we're telling our people, all right, to, to turn away from sin, all right? But what we know through the Spirit, through prophecy, that two-thirds will not turn, all right? But the Christian church is telling you everyone can return. Everyone, you know, uh, 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 can be saved, all right? And that's not true, all right? That the Lord, every Israelite can't even be saved. So that's, that's a... That's, that's a in, let alone the whole world. That's what these Christians are telling you. All right, they're not giving you warning. They're not. They're not the church. They they don't. They don't speak. The, they don't. The, the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with them. They don't speak for the heavenly Father because they don't got the spirit. Okay, so um, let me jump over to Ezekiel. I had a few scriptures lined up. I wanted to hit um, Ezekiel chapters eleven and sixteen. Therefore, say thus said the Lord Power. Although I have cast them. Far off among the heathen, heathen, and although they, I, have, I have scattered them among among the countries, yet will I be to them a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. All right, so the Lord, that was part of the curses, all right, of us, us being scattered throughout the heathen nations, scattered amongst all the world, all right, the uttermost parts of the world. Our people are scattered, but it says, I will be a little sanctuary in the countries where they, where they shall come, all right, and those little sanctuaries are the camps. All right, you see a camp damn near in every state, every 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 major continent in, in, in the world. All right, a brother is prophesying this truth. All right, calling the names of Yahweh Shai, that the Lord hey, that was prophesied that he would be a little sanctuary. That's how the gathering is going to come through the word. Okay, not in these churches because Christianity has been around for us, you know who knows how long. And 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 and, and what what. What true gathering have they had? All right, they, they're not gathering. The, they're not gathering the, the elect. They're not speaking on gathering the elect. All right, they just want everyone to come in. You know, like uh, um, really like on, on some new world order type shit to you know come on, come all. We're all one people. And, and hey, the scriptures are completely against that. Okay, um, what was that? Oh, shit, so I can't. Uh, verse seventeen. Therefore, say thus saith the Lord Power: I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. All right. And that's speaking of the kingdom. We're going to return to our, 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 um, our, um, our, our homeland. All right. Israel. All right. Once this, once America is destroyed, once the kingdom or once your comes back in the, in the kingdom of heaven is established. Okay. But the Lord is, is gathering us. He's gathering us through the word. All right. Hey, this Christian church ain't doing no gathering. All right. Because, a lot of people that 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 proclaim, you know, the love of the Lord, they 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 can they go to church one week and don't go for another four weeks. All right, hey, the the men of the Lord out there that's prophesying. All right, you got brothers that's coming out that that that's consistent. That that that's 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 you know, they they fear at the they 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 fear the heavenly Father, so they 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 tremble at His word. All right, His word is spoken through the prophets. Verse eighteen, and there shall come thither. And they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, I had a script I want to get in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 3. Jeremiah 3 and 
Verse 14, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will gather you, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And you're looking at those pastors. All right, these are the pastors that the Lord has given you to give give you his knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Okay? It's not these Christian churches, not these, these, these not these these uh, Christian preachers, because you got a lot of wicked shit going on in the Christian church lately. You got, you know, uh, um, you know, it's always been some type of sex scandal or some type of money scandal in these churches. You don't, you're not going to get that from the true men of the Lord, the true sincere men of the Lord, because the men of the Lord are only about this truth, only about edifying, only about waking up the elect. All right, the, the the Christian churches, the Christian church, Christian preacher, pastors, or whatever, they got so much other shit going on, and, and, and you know what I mean? They they the, the pushing the word of the heavenly Father is the last thing on their mind. Okay, but the Lord says He's going to give you pastors according to His heart. That's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, and, and like I said, uh, uh, the job of the uh, prophet, okay, the true men of the Lord, the church is to gather the elect, okay, to bid them to the marriage, to bid them. To uh, 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 um, the marriage of Yahweh Shai, the marriage of Yahweh Shai, uh, um, uh, back to you know, back to the heavenly Father. Okay, let me grab uh, Matthew 22, 21. Parable of the marriage feast, and this is you know we're uh, uh, waking up the elect and bringing them to the marriage feast. Okay, the, the Christian church ain't even, they don't even go into these type of, uh, um, these parables. They don't even go into these scriptures. They read something from the Old Testament, maybe it's maybe some, uh, and a couple of scriptures from the New Testament and talk about, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes about bullshit that don't concern nobody that, that you know, and, and next thing you know, the collection plate being play, uh, passed around and they playing some, um, some demonic ass Christian music to fuck with your spirit. All right, to get you, get you, in that giving mode, all right? They're not telling, they're not bidding people to the marriage, all right? They're not calling out uh, uh, to the people. They're not sparing, you know, uh, calling out and sparing not, all right? This is uh, Matthew chapter 22 and 1. And Yahweh Shai answered and spake unto them again in, by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. And that king is Yahweh. And his son is Yahweh Shai, all right? They're not even telling you the names, okay? Here it is, 2022. We got all this information. And these these people are still calling on God and Jesus Christ. All right. When 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 the, a lot of these Christian pastors, preachers, they know that the name ain't Jesus Christ, but they say, fuck it. That's what the people know. We're just going to keep pushing that. OK. And he's verse three. And he set forth his servant to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And they would not come again. He sent forth others servants saying, tell them which are bidden. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But he made, but they made light of it, meaning they didn't take heed, and they went their ways, one to his farm and another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servant and entreated them spitefully and slew them. And when the king heard of this, he was wroth, and he sent his forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned their cities. And those armies um, represent his angels. OK. Um, and he saith to his servant, the wedding is ready, but which but they which were bidden were not worthy. All right. So everyone's not worthy of this wedding. All right. The, the only the elect. All right. So, hey, those though, just like in the wilderness. All right. Where where, you know, the Lord had to you know kill off the niggas. The Lord's going to do the same thing. He's only wants his elect. All right. Those that were predestined from the beginning of the world and go ye therefore into the highways and as many as shall as ye shall find bid to the marriage and that's what the, the the job of a prophet all right the church is to do to bid them to the marriage all right go out on the highways and hedges so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all that all as many as they found both bad and good and the wedding was furnished with guests okay so you know that, that that's that's the bidding to the marriage to to, to the wedding feast Go ye therefore in the highways, and many shall find bids to the marriage. And those servants went out into the highways. Oh, so like yeah, I read that. And when the king came in, he saw the guests. He saw there was a man that had not the wedding garment. And that goes into those that don't, um, that really don't got the truth. That 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 
they're not um that they they're not truly sincere. All right, they they you know they they talk a good one, but they're not really about this. All right, and you're gonna have a lot of Christians that 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 may come into the truth, that may know this knowledge, but when shit really get bad, all right, when that persecution comes, they're gonna revert back to this Christian church, all right, because they really weren't. Hey, they 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 were. Uh, what has it go? Um, they were. Uh, damn. I think it's in Jude. They were not of us, but uh, not Jude. What is it? I think it's John, first, first or second John. But they, they, they truly weren't of us. They were, they, they didn't, they didn't. Um, they're gonna find this shit. I'm butchering it. Um, let me look it up. First John two. First John two and nineteen. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, and they might that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. So it's going to be those that 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 that. That act like they're of us, that act like they're with us, but they're not. All right, you know when when persecution comes, and Esau is gonna say, "Who do you worship? Who 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 are you for?" Or what when you say, uh, 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 "You know, I believe in Jesus Christ." You're not of us. All right, but those true and faithful men are gonna say, "How about Shimei was shot?" All right, and, and but you know that's when you come into this, you know what you signed up for. All right, just like when when these Christian pastors, these niggas, they come into Christianity. They know what they signed up for because they go to the theological seminary schools and they, you know, if you got the spirit, you can see the bullshit. But you know what 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 helps them makes them turn a blind eye to the bullshit? The money. All right. And, and the scriptures say freely, freely, freely have you received, freely give. All right. So we're not out there, at, 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 you know, uh, um, you know, ask for money or ask for no handouts. We out there. You know, this is a <laughs> the 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 um, we're serving to the Lord. All right, we're not, we're we're doing this because we fear the Lord. All right, we're doing this because we want salvation. We're not doing this for filthy lucre's sake, like as the scripture says. All right, um, I want to grab another scripture. Matthew ten and um, verse five. This is how Rashi was telling his disciples to go forth out and, and and push the word. And these twelve sent forth and commanded them, saying, "Go into the way. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritan." Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of Israel, as ye go preaching, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're proclaiming. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're not going to the heathens. All right. But the Christian church welcomes the heathens in their church. All right. You got you got Moabite Christian pastors, pastors, okay? That 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 have not that have no spirit, no salt. They shouldn't even be picking up the Bible. All right. But they're telling you that Jesus loves all and, and Jesus came and saved all. That's not the truth. All right, that's slander. All right, it says, uh, "Go ye and preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely have you received, freely give." All right, we're not asking for anything. All right, we 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 we're we're asking for salvation. We're 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 small vessels that the Lord has uh um has called to do His work, and Lord willing, we're chosen. Okay. So um, let me see what did I have. Well, I just put up an image. The, the, the Lord's not dealing with these places, you know, with the with the with the cross of Tammuz in the middle. The Lord is not dealing with these Christian churches, okay? You know, the the temple the temple in the temple in Jerusalem, all right, in in Israel, you know that that's that's you know when that's established, when the kingdom of heaven is is established, that's that's going to be the the you know the uh, where we worship, okay, where where, where we come. To uh, give praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but right now the the church, all right, which is his people, all right, the uh, um, the the elect is being built right now, all right. So Lord willing, um, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Yahweh Kakudash. Uh, Till next time, I say Shalom.